Welcome back to another episode of Talk Rail. I'm James Hamilton. And I'm Gavin Schutz. This week we'll be talking about commonplace cards that you can see in everyday decks and some that don't get used as much. After that, we'll go on to our card of the week. Clash Royale is a game with almost an unlimited amount of decks that can be made. And we're going to be talking about some of the cards that are kind of more rare to see or don't get used as much. One of our first ones is Heal Spirit. It's mainly just a rotate card, and it's used It's used to heal troops around it after the splash. Yeah. A lot of people would rather use an Electro Spirit or a Fire Spirit because you get more out of it in the long run. Like with a Fire Spirit, it does a big boost of damage for only one Elixir, and, and an Electro Spirit, it can stun targets, but with the Heal Spirit, you just get a little bit of health back and you can get that same effect from a Battle Healer, which would also progress more to a push. And I think that's one of the main reasons that this right. card doesn't get seen as much as right. it could be. Now let's talk about Bar Hut. Now, Bar Hut spawns three Barbarians around every 10 seconds. Yeah, uh, the Bar Hut... For a card that's 6 Elixir, you would expect it to do a lot more. Uh, it's a pretty expensive card, it's up there, and it can be countered very easily with a Fireball or even simply Arrows. The Barbarians are only good in a very few select circumstances, right. because if you have a Splash Damage card like a Valkyrie or even a simple Fire Spirit could counter the push, and that's just 6 Elixir down the drain for no good reason. Now, how do you feel about Goblin Gang? Is it... Well, Goblin Gang's three Spear Goblin and three Normal Goblin for the same amount of Elixir. Well, Goblin Gang is a lot better than Spear Goblins. Or, well, Normal Goblins, they're kind of good because they're two Elixir and you get four. With Goblin Gang, you get six Goblins, three Spear, three Normal for three Elixir, which is a pretty good trade with that and then with spear goblins you only get three for two elixir so it's a much better strategy to use goblin gang than spear goblins in my opinion and i think that's why it's not seen as much as say goblin gang and now we're talking about some of the most commonly cards you see in other people's decks now for the first one we have knight and this one this one's the one that you're first introduced with at the beginning of the game so if you've been playing Clash Royale for a while, you know about the Knight card. And it's really just the most common used card in the game. Yeah, Knight is, for how early you get introduced to it, it's a pretty versatile card. Uh, it can be great on offense to tank for, say, a Giant or another large uh, card. Or it can be used great for defense for luring troops back, letting your tower get those extra hits. And with the Knight Evolution being added to the game, I've personally seen a lot more use with the card because the Knight Evolution is just so good. And yeah, that's my opinion on that. Right. Now the next one I want to talk about, it's Log. And Log's a spell card that it, mainly, it, it pushes troops back and it does really good damage. Yeah, Log is more a defensive card and it's seen a lot of use throughout the years. It pushes back almost all troops if i'm thinking correctly and it does good damage on those lower health troops like goblin gang or skeletons to where if those got on your tower you'd suffer huge damage but with a two elixir card you basically get the protection for cheaper for this week the card of the week is poison poison is a well it's not a troop card it's a spell card which you can place anywhere on the map that slowly does damage to units. And a lot of people have been using poison to encounter little friends, mainly because of the slow movement of the card and the poison just sits there for a while. Yeah, it's it's a good card that a lot of people have been adding because of little prince. It's become a lot more useful, but it's also useful to other cards that say skeleton army or anything that's smaller and doesn't have as much health, so it just chips away and it 
basically gives you a good elixir trade. Thank you for joining us in this week's Talk Royale. Next week, we're going to be going over commonly asked questions about the game. Also, interesting facts that you probably didn't know. Hope to see you there.